The Last Supper, one of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous works, plays a key role in Ron Howard's 2006 blockbuster, The Da Vinci Code. The movie claims the figure sitting to Jesus' right is Mary Magdalene, not the disciple John, as the church would have us believe, and that she is the Holy Grail. When I saw the movie of Dan Brown and I read the book, I was very happy because it was a very beautiful novel, but it's science fiction. Mario Tadai is a Milan-based inventor and an expert on the works of Leonardo da Vinci. He spent 15 years analyzing the Renaissance master's work, trying to get inside his mind. Mario doesn't believe the movie's claims, and for good reason. He knows da Vinci's version of The Last Supper was just that, a version. Before Leonardo da Vinci, there are hundreds of Last Suppers. And when he painted The Last Supper, he had to follow some rules. The Rosulus wants to have uh, the people in that position, with that smile, so people can recognize uh, the different apostles uh, one by one. Before Leonardo's Last Supper, all of the other copies looked very similar. Artists used the same formula to depict Christ's disciples. St. Peter handles a knife. Judas carries a purse of silver. And St. John, the youngest disciple, is always shown as a youthful, feminine-looking figure. Is this a John or Maria Magdalene? Is a very easy question, but it's a stupid question. Because it must be John. Because Leonardo had to, had to copy the Last Supper before him. And John looks like a woman. Leonardo da Vinci just copied these things because they must be in this way, so it must be recognizable as John. That's it. The movie asks us to believe that The Last Supper contains letters hidden in plain sight. An M referring to Mary Magdalene. And a V, the symbol of a chalice, typically known as the Holy Grail, or as the Da Vinci Code would have us believe, a V for the shape of a womb. According to the experts, if you look hard enough, all paintings contain shapes that look like letters. Leonardo da Vinci may not be revealing the truth about Mary Magdalene and Jesus' relationship in his painting, but he is sending a message, one that five centuries ago was just as controversial as the da Vinci Code. Before Leonardo da Vinci, all versions of the Last Supper showed Jesus and his disciples with halos, in effect, portraying them as saints. But da Vinci chose to ignore this convention and paint them without halos. I believe that Leonardo never put the halos because he thinks that dead people are common people. And this is the true secret of Leonardo. There is no... Uh, extraterrestrial, a supernatural object inside the Last Supper. Leonardo wants to tell us that the, the 13 men are simple men. And this is a, something much more powerful. Leonardo da Vinci is communicating a subtle message with his Last Supper. He's telling us that Jesus was a mortal, a theme echoed in the Da Vinci Code. 